Hi guys, recently I made this kidney bean dip and it was really easy as well as being so delicious, healthy, vegan and gluten free. I love it with just some raw carrots dipped into it, but it's also really good with some flatbreads or in sandwiches. I started off by grinding my whole spices. I started with about two inches of a cinnamon stick, about a teaspoon of cumin seeds, about the same of coriander seeds, and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, or you can use the pre-ground stuff if you prefer. I really recommend getting a spice grinder though, or an old coffee bean grinder. It'll give all your spices much more intensity and it'll really improve your cooking. This one is really cheap as well. Once they're all ground really, really finely, just tip them out and set them aside until later. Now for the fresh ingredients. Start by finely zesting a lime. You'll need the zest to garnish at the end, but you'll need the juice during cooking. Then take a large onion and peel it and then dice it up. It doesn't have to be too fine because this is all going to be cooked and processed. Then take two or maybe three garlic cloves and peel them and you can finely chop them now if you like or mince them or grate them, but I'm gonna use a garlic crusher later. Now place a large frying pan over a medium to high heat and add three tablespoons of olive oil. Once it's hot, go in with your onions and your finely minced garlic. Then stir fry them all together for about four minutes or until they are just starting to soften and take on a golden color. Then add one tin of red kidney beans, including all the liquid, plus another tin that has been drained and rinsed. Give all of that a really good stir before you add your spices. Then I added a good fat pinch of sea salt flakes, maybe about a half a teaspoon. And I shook in some Tabasco, maybe about a teaspoon's worth, but as much as you think you can handle. Followed by a good fat squirt of tomato puree, probably about a tablespoon's worth. Now take that zested lime from earlier and add the juice of it to the pan. Now stir it up really, really well and cook it for just a few minutes before you take it off the heat. And you can either let it cool now or else if you have a blender with a kind of a heat funnel at the top, you can blitz it up straight away. So tip it all into your blender or your food processor and you can either blitz until really, really smooth or pulse until it's a bumpy puree. I prefer it really smooth though. When it is how you like it, then just take it off and decant into a nice serving bowl. Then just sprinkle over that reserved lime zest from earlier and dig in. Thanks a million for watching guys. I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can check me out on social media. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below, as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.